into his economy. So he's not going to be extremely, extremely far behind in the economy like he might have been if he'd been put pumping out Zerglings suicidally and and teching up and stuff like that. Uh, but see, Quanro keeping the pressure up, keeping the pressure up. He's still able to put out a decent amount of forces despite the fact that he um, that he's um, not been uh, pumping up his economy quite as much here. Um, let's see, I haven't seen... I'm sure there must be a robotics support bay going either down or um, going down in best space. Um, he's got the robotics facility set up in a nice location, by the way. It's, um, I mean, it's so that it, there's a short distance from from where it is to the front door. So as soon as his reaver pops out, it can already be in a position. There's the robotics support bay. I missed it before, I guess. And uh, as soon as it pops out, it can be, a, be in a position to defend the front. Um, unfortunately, that does mean if Quanro manages to break the front door. He'll be able to snipe anything that comes out of it pretty easily. Um, although, uh, if uh, Quanro ma manages to break his front door, then uh, Best will have more to worry about than his reavers getting sniped as they come out. Um, he'll be basically owned at that point. Usually, it's, it's pretty difficult to come back from that when your front door gets broken as a Protoss. Um, I guess this is theoretically a map where you could come back because, as we can see right here, this, uh, un this is Andromeda, by the way, so there is that third base. So he could still have two bases running after um, his front door fell, but then he would, then he'd be down to one gas though, which again, gas is really really critical in this in this matchup. Um, all the units that you're gonna need, basically, especially as Protoss, I think, are are gas heavy. Your Reavers, uh, your Templar, that sort of thing. Uh, Corsairs obviously take some gas as well. Um, so it's it's difficult to come back. Um, if you don't have enough gas to, to put out some high-tech forces, basically. Um, especially since we're seeing Quanro expanding to the bottom right uh, natural position uh, right now. So, and actually, it looks like Best is going to take uh, the island expansion as well. So that I think that's a pretty uh, pretty good move for Best. It's a really um, easy expansion to hold, uh, especially if uh, Quanro probably does not have drop tech at the moment. Oh, nice! Sniping that that cannon over the ridge, that was cool. Um, and now he's going to bring in this Overlord, so he can actually spot over that ridge. Uh oh, uh oh, Reaver getting dropped in there. He's going to have to watch out though. The, the Corsairs could give chase. I'm sorry, the the Hydras could give chase and try to snipe that Reaver. They are going after. They're going after the shuttle actually, but those Hydralists are just dying um, very very quickly. Um, didn't quite have enough Hydralists in the area to take that out. So things things looking pretty bad for Quandro in the long run. He keeps losing. Uh, engagements. He's not able to accomplish too much with his harassments, uh, and um, you know he's he's pretty much even with best economically at this point. Uh, he's a little bit ahead, but uh, yeah, it's still not looking good for him. Almost took down that shuttle. That would have been really really key. That might have brought him back a little bit if he'd been able to take take that shuttle out, but uh, he's not able to. And so once see, Quanro would need to drop on that that expansion like pretty quickly in order to take it out because otherwise Best is going to be able to put cannons all up in the hizzle and uh, and there'd be just be cannons all over that map, all over that island and um, and and uh, Reavers as well possibly Tempo eventually although he's got two robotics facilities so it means he's committed pretty heavily to this uh, Corsair Reaver build uh, he's probably going to be pumping out a lot of Reavers and, and uh, obviously with shuttles to go with them uh, so it's going to be really difficult for him to take that although it looks like Quanro might be going in for a drop here um, on the uh, mineral natural or, or something like that. Oh, ho, ho, Corsairs running around. It looks like uh, Quandra's going to try and snipe those Corsairs off with a ton of uh, Scourgers. They're split up a little bit so that they don't get uh, completely splashed to death here. They're going to run in some Hydralists. No, they're going to dodge the Hydralists, so uh, they're not going to be too, too uh, hurt by that. But uh, that means that um, uh, Best is going to have to watch out um, I guess there wasn't a drop going down after all. I guess he was just moving his uh, overlords up to uh, where the hydralisks were, just in case there was any um, any well to protect the overlords. So the hydralisks can protect the overlords, and also to oh wait wait he might be he's got the overlords with those hydralisks. They might just be blocking for him. They might be uh, waiting for a drop. It's hard to tell. He can't load them up though because then the corsairs will just eat the overlords. Uh, with the Hydralists inside, and there goes some Corsairs running in, trying to take out Shuttles, Corsairs, I'm sorry, the, the Scourge is going in to try and take out Shuttles and Corsairs, only taking out one Corsair though, basically, uh, that is, that was really, really bad for Quanro, he's just falling farther and farther behind, farther behind with each engagement, and it looks like Best is now going to try and finish this off, he's going to try and take out Quanro's expansion in the bottom right, and once he does that, 
uh, he will be ahead economically, far ahead economically, and um, there won't be just there just won't be too much that uh, Quanro can do to uh, uh, to come back in this. They're showing that uh, he's actually upgraded Scarab damage. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so Quanro trying to set up another base here. He actually does have Hydro's in position to possibly defend this. Uh, if he can, if the sh if the Reavers get down though, he'll be in trouble. Oh, he chases the shuttles off, chases the shuttles off. But he does not have Hydralis over here. He's only got one Hydralis. He's bringing the Hydralis down to try and take out these shuttles. A creep colony uh, getting put down, but oh, disruption web, disruption web going down. And I don't think there's no way that that many Hydralis can take out only uh, a few less Reavers than there are Hydralis. Um, so he's going to have to burrow those uh, in the meantime, and and uh, he's going to lose this expansion. Uh, there's almost no way he can he can save this now. Uh, so. Kronor losing this expansion, and now Best is way ahead economically. Um, he has not been able to affect any damage on Best whatsoever. Uh, this is not looking good for Kronor at all. I was really hoping that um, that uh, Kronor would be able to put up a good fight. Kronor, uh, I guess I should have mentioned in the beginning, he's kind of an inconsistent player a lot of the time. He'll absolutely run in and, and just completely uh, destroy uh, his opponent sometimes, and other times he will look um, uh, pretty vulnerable. Uh, especially versus Protoss. Protoss is, is his um, his worst matchup. Uh, and uh, so, it, yeah. Oh, here comes the final blow. Uh, a ton of shuttles. Disruption web going down on the one sunken colony. Quandro is definitely going to uh, get his main destroyed here. Oh, some re oh, oh, lurkers going down, but they get destroyed. He's targeting the lurkers. Nicely done. Nicely done targeting the lurkers. Um, I don't think Best has any observers, so the lurkers could have done some good possibly... Uh, in the long run, but uh, yeah, things just not looking good at all here. He probably would have targeted the um, the zealots with his reavers though, or something like that. Jesus, running in, sniping two hatcheries off, and running out again, using the zealots to distract the hydras while he moves over to Quanro's main. And this is we're gonna see GG here in just a second. Quanro knows it. Uh, you know it. I know it. This is this game is over. But yeah. Quanro not too good against Protoss players, um, so but sometimes he'll play really not well against them, and so it, it's it's hard to tell how he's going to play on any given day or any given game. Um, so I was I was hoping to see something more out of him, but uh, just just uh, not quite at the level of best, just not quite able to keep up with best. Um, and we'll see if he can pull something better out in game two. I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, thank you for listening.